Fitness. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. So I am here today because it's Saturday with a grocery haul and I have a fan fantastic grocery haul for you. Tons and tons and tons of new food finds, tons. So I can't wait to share it with you. I'm also going to be sharing my meal plan as well as what you will see on Monday for meal prep. So lots of good stuff in today's grocery haul. If you're new to my channel, stick around, join the community and subscribe. Hit the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. We'd love to have you be part of our community over here. If you love grocery hauls, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and shows me that you enjoy these weekly grocery hauls. And make sure you're checking out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I would love to help you. I can calculate your macros and calories. We have one-on-one -on -one support, group support, so definitely check it out. I highly recommend the calorie macro calculation just so you kind of know where you should fall every day within your calories and points. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. We would love to have you also join that amazing community. It's very loving and supportive and just a great positive force in your life when it comes to WW and Facebook. So head over and join us. So let's jump into this week's super exciting grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I have the mother load of new food finds. Some new to me, some new to the market. I'm so excited about this week's grocery haul. I am stocking up for basically this week and some snacks to take with me when I go to San Diego next Thursday. So you'll see that I did buy some snacky portable items just for the plane ride and to help me stay on track when I am there. So I have quite the haul for you this week. My holiday 90 day challenge started October 1st as well. So just a couple of days ago. So I made sure that I'm setting myself up for success. And I'm going to tell you kind of how I'm doing that with some of the items that I purchased. So if you're not part of my holiday challenge, head on over and join me on Facebook. And then from there, you can request to join the holiday challenge once you've submitted your payment. So definitely check it out over on my Facebook group. But let's jump in to this exciting grocery haul. So as always, of course, I picked up kombucha. So I decided to go ahead and grab a big jar of the gingerberry only because it's a lot more affordable. It was $8.50 for this at my natural grocery store versus $3.19 per bottle. And this is actually enough for three bottles. So it's a little bit better price. So I picked that up and then I did grab just some single bottles as well. I really love, as you know, the fall edition of Living in Gratitude from GT's Kombucha. This I grabbed at Trader Joe's. So this one is apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices, and it is delicious. This is limited flavor. Actually, all three of these are limited. This is their 25th anniversary edition of Sacred Life. This one is delicious. And then, of course, you guys know I love the summer version, the Unity, which is cherry, coconut, and lemongrass. So that should help me make it through the next week or so on kombucha and then I saw this at Walmart you guys know that I've purchased the suja organic juices in the past because I love them but this is a new one to me this is ginger love so it's purified water lemon ginger and pineapple so it's definitely a kind of immunity boosting juice it is cold pressed and it's only 15 calories for this bottle in zero smart points or I'm counting it as zero points so I grabbed that just to have on hand, I may have this before I head on the airplane or something when I'm feeling I need a little bit of an immunity boost. So I picked that up. At Trader Joe's, I grabbed some Black Forest ham just because you know I like to have lunch meat on hand. And also when I do come back from San Diego, I am not going to be meal prepping because I will be in California on meal prep day. So I definitely need to have some easy things on hand for breakfast and lunches and snacks when I return as well. So this will definitely last through my trip if it's still left before I leave. So I did grab the Black Forest ham and then quite a bit of different cheeses. I did grab my three cheese blend. I did not get this last week and had to make a grocery store run midweek. So I picked that up. Just some regular string cheese for Troy's lunches. Restocked my mozzarella because I ended up using what I've purchased at the store midweek already. So I always like to have mozzarella on hand. It melts really nicely and it's low point compared to other full fat cheeses. So I grabbed that. And then 
at Trader Joe's. I picked up the Jarlsberg Reduced Fat Swiss Cheese. I need this for a recipe, and then I like to have it on hand as well because it's only one smart point per slice and 50 calories. So I picked that up. And then at the natural grocer store, I grabbed some mints just because I was completely out. So these are Spry Mints and Peppermint. These do have xylitol in them, which is very toxic to dogs. So make sure if you do pick up a xylitol or products with xylitol that you keep it away from your pet. So this will be in my purse. And then my friend Aaron over at a salty veteran here on YouTube, I'll link his channel down below for you, sent me a message and asked if I had seen the Clio mini bars. Now you guys know I love Clio bars and I had not seen the mini bars and then voila at Walmart today, there they were. So I picked them up. So thank you, Aaron, for telling me about these. These are only 60 calories and I believe that they are three points and these little mini bars still have four grams of protein, which is awesome. So I picked up the strawberry and it looks like there's eight mini bars per box. And then of course I picked up the vanilla as well because this one is literally cheesecake. So I grabbed that, so I'm excited for those and then one of the main reasons that i went to the natural food store shocker is for my good culture cottage cheese this is my favorite and with the holiday challenge i have several goals over the next 90 days and one of them is to meet my protein or exceed my protein goal every day so you're going to see that i picked up some things that will help me do just that so cottage cheese is one of those things there is 14 grams of protein and half of a cup which is awesome and this is my all-time very favorite cottage cheese. It's really the only one that I can buy anymore because I don't like anything else. So I went ahead and stocked up and picked up three containers. They are good through the 25th of October. So lots of time. I needed Italian style breadcrumbs for a recipe. So I picked those up at Walmart. And then as I mentioned in my favorites video, for some reason, I am now a fan of popcorn where I never used to be a fan of popcorn. So I decided I was going to up my popcorn game just a bit. So I do have some organic heirloom popcorn kernels in my pantry and I have the Weight Watchers popcorn popper, which I love. I picked it up off of their website. So I did grab this theater style popcorn seasoning spray. Now, does it have great ingredients? No, but the popcorn is really good for you. And so I figured 90, 10, 90, 10, 10% 10 foods I love, 90% clean food. So I'm going to add some of this to my popcorn. It is zero calories, zero points. And also for my popcorn at Walmart, I found this Colonel Seasons flavor pack. So what is in here is butter, white cheddar, salt and vinegar, and dill pickle flavorings. Little containers of each. I wanna say this was a less than $5. These two don't have the best ingredients, even though it says made with real ingredients, but I think it's going to be really good to add these to my popcorn with that spray. And like I said, popcorn is a really good way to get in good, healthy, whole grains, as well as the little bit of protein that's in popcorn. So I'm excited to have popcorn this next week. I feel like it is a fall or cold weather food. So it's getting into that season for me. So I'm excited. And then I picked up two yogurts only because this is a new flavor that I've never seen before. This is the mango hibiscus. So let me know if you guys have tried this. It sounds really good. And I love yogurt and I definitely will eat these up before I head out of town because again, great source of protein for low points and calories. So I picked up actually two of those. And speaking of two of, I grabbed two of the pumpkin cream cheese from Trader Joe's. One of my lovely subscribers let me know that her Trader Joe's said that the pumpkin things are selling out like crazy, that they are going to be gone before normal. And in fact, the pumpkin ginger hold the cones are gone. They were not at my store either and they will not be back. So if you love the Trader Joe's pumpkin things, definitely check out the hauls that I have done. In fact, I have another one, secret, hint, hint, coming your way tomorrow, a fall haul from Trader Joe's. So I'll link those videos down below. That way you can get your hands on all the fall and pumpkin things before they're gone. So I'm obsessed with the cream cheese, so I actually picked up two of them just in case. I just don't wanna miss out for the season. And then I am down to just a couple of small amounts of creamer left, so I decided to bite the bullet and go with the peppermint mocha from Coffee Mate. So I grabbed that for my coffees, kind of start getting me into the Christmas spirit. And then this is new at Trader Joe's. This is the Bambino pizza for Maggio. These are for my husband. These are just little mini pizzas. They're actually only 250 calories a piece, which is not bad. Let's see, and 11 grams of protein. So not too terrible, but he will eat these while I'm in San Diego. So I thought that I would just throw them into the freezer. 
And also at the natural food store, I picked up another box of my Lundberg Thin Stackers. This time I got the five grain. So it's brown rice, popcorn, quinoa, millet, and flaxseed. So my point of picking these up, my reasoning, is I need to get in more healthy fats. So I did kind of revamp my macros a bit and I upped my fats. So I thought that this would be a great way to add a little bit of nut butter to the top. And I have several nut butters on hand. I featured a few of those in my favorites video that went out on Thursday. So I picked up these thin stackers. You can have four of them for 110 calories. And I thought I would just have one with some nut butter and it would be a great way to get in those healthy fats. Plus the little bit of protein that nut butters have. So I picked that up. Here's a new find from Walmart. So this is the Bake Good Cherry Pie Filling No Sugar Added. And it says sweetened to taste. So literally it's just cherries in a pie filling. There is no sweetener added to this. So I thought that that was kind of nice because you could really add whatever sweetener you wanted to add to it. So it has pretty good ingredients and you can have an entire third of a cup for 35 calories. And if you added a zero point or zero calorie sweetener, I thought this would be really good in non-fat Greek yogurt, or you could even top already sweetened yogurt with just the pie filling. And you can put a tablespoon or two on it for zero points. So I picked this up and they did also have apple as well. So if you're in the market for a good no sugar added pie filling, I will definitely let you guys know how this one is. And then another reason I went to the health food store was to stock up on my NYX sticks. You guys know I love these and these are great portable snacks that I can throw in my suitcase when I head out of town. So I picked up a ton. I have just the regular turkey and then I have the spicy turkey. These two are my favorites. 10 grams of protein. You get both sticks for three smart points or 75 calories. So it is a great way to get in protein, a great, easy, quick snack to take with you. So I stocked up because today was the last day of the sale. Normally these are about $2.79 a piece and they're on sale for $2.19. So I think I picked up at least a dozen. Also, since I won't be meal prepping when I come back from my trip, I grabbed some sausages at Trader Joe's. This is just a really low point, low calorie way to get in a lot of protein. So I picked up the Trader Joe's Italian style chicken chicken, 110 calories and 11 grams of protein. And then I did decide to pick up the sweet apple as well. 120 calories, 11 grams of protein. So great way to get in protein for low points or calories. Quick, easy lunch, just fry it up with some veggies. So that's kind of my plan when I come back. A dozen eggs, these are for Troy. He wants egg salad sandwiches for lunch and he doesn't care about organic pasteurized eggs. So I just picked these up at Walmart. And then I did grab some meat. This I grabbed because it was on sale. And I actually have a recipe coming out that calls for sausage. And if you didn't know or didn't follow a lot of my meal prep videos, I usually buy ground turkey because it's zero points. And then I season it myself with poultry seasoning to taste like sausage. So I grabbed this because this will be a sausage addition sausage in quotes addition to a recipe. So I picked that up. And then every time I'm at Walmart, I generally will grab the Simply Raised Turkey. This time I picked up the 93.7. And then my favorite, favorite ground beef was on sale and it doesn't actually expire for another week and a half, but this is the Market Butcher Organic Grass-Fed Grass-Finished Ground Beef. Normally this pack of three pounds is $18. It was $13.90. So I could not pass it up because I just pop it in my freezer and I love this ground beef so much. And then I also needed chicken thighs for a recipe and I got them for $7.50, so I was excited about that. These are also a new food find and I picked these up to take with me to San Diego. So this is the almond butter strawberry and almond butter raspberry split. So one side is the butter and one side is the jam and you fold it in half knead it and squeeze it and you basically have peanut butter and jelly without the bread and it's only 160 calories for the entire pack of course i'll put the points here on the screen good ingredients and again just a great way to get in some healthy fats and some protein on the go they had peanut butter versions and cashew butter they have a lot of these at walmart and they were less than two dollars each so i picked those two up and then I'm excited. Here is a new food find. This is the Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough chunks and snackable 
dough. So I picked up the chocolate chip and look at this. You can have 28 grams or two tablespoons for 110 calories. There's eight servings in this package and it is like full of cookie dough bites. So I imagine you get quite a few for the points and you can even cut down the serving size and still have a really good sweet treat. And who doesn't love edible cookie dough. There were several flavors, so I picked up the chocolate chip. If I like them, I will definitely get other flavors. Another new food find that I just happened to see when I was walking by the frozen section. This is from Crazy Richards. They also make a really clean peanut butter. So this is the Holy Rollies in peanut butter and strawberry. 10 frozen protein balls, only five ingredients, and that's the whole story. So here's what's in here. Peanut butter, oats, dates, freeze-dried strawberries and unsweetened toasted coconut. I wish that the oatmeal was organic, but for an on-the-go snack that has protein that's frozen, that's probably sweet, I'm excited for these. It's 90 calories per ball, and each ball has three grams of protein and only four grams of sugar, so not bad. And I thought that this would, again, just be a quick, easy snack. If you're hungry and you just need something quick, like before you work out, this would be a great option. And they also had several flavors of the Holy Rollies. And again, I picked those up from the freezer section at Walmart. I needed tomato paste for a recipe. Uh, so I just picked up this six ounce can. And then also I needed black beans for a recipe. So I grabbed the Great Value Organic. Since I have the holiday challenge, I'm really, again, watching my macros and points and calories. So I picked up this for a sweet treat. They are pre-portioned, so I can't overeat. I generally don't find myself eating more than one package of things that are pre-packaged. So I thought that this would be a great way to have a sweet treat. These are delicious in the freezer. So I'm actually going to toss a few of these packs in the freezer. They're 140 calories if you track calories per pack and the points here on the screen. So again, 12 packs, it'll last me a long time. It'll just be a great sweet treat. And then to no one's surprise, the value pack of Little Bites and Party for Troy's lunches. He loves these and this is a killer deal at Walmart. So I always try to pick it up when I'm there. It's just much more affordable. And then I was almost completely out of oats and I haven't placed my Thrive order where I normally buy my oats. The link for Thrive is down below where you also get a free gift up to $24 value when you join. You guys know I love Thrive. These oats are actually less expensive on Thrive, usually about 30% less for their products. But since I haven't ordered yet, I just grabbed the small bag at Walmart. So these are the organic old fashioned rolled oats. Always pick up your oats organic because they are heavily, heavily sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. So I always buy those organic. And then at Trader Joe's, of course, I grabbed two bags of cauliflower gnocchi because I thought I could cook that up with the sausage and again, veggies for a great lunch. And then while I was in the gnocchi section, I saw these outside in stuffed gnocchi. So these are potato gnocchi stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. I thought that sounded really good and would be kind of a good comfort food side dish for dinner, especially if you use the zero point protein. And it was only 180 calories for an entire cup of them. So I thought that that was pretty darn good. So I picked that up. A big container of diced ham. I actually need diced ham for a recipe. And I like to have this to add to salads because it's a quick, easy way to pop in some protein. And a loaf of sourdough bread for my husband. He's ready to move on from the other sourdough bread for a little while. It just gets dry really fast. So I just picked this one up from Walmart. And everything else I have is produce. So I have a bag of organic romaine salad. I'm going to have salad for lunch on Sunday. So I picked that up for that. I have super sweet corn for a recipe. My organic lemons, of course, for my water. Avocados, which is another great way to up your healthy fats. So I picked that up just to have on hand. If you keep these in the refrigerator, they ripen a lot slower. And then when you want to ripen it up, pop it in your fruit bowl on your counter. So I usually just keep these on the fridge or in the fridge until I'm ready to have them ripen up. So that is everything. I didn't pick up a lot of produce because I have Imperfect Foods Box coming here in the next couple of days. So I didn't want to overdo the produce because I love Imperfect Foods. Again, that's linked down below with $10 worth of free groceries of your choice, no minimum order. So check them out. So that is this week's grocery haul from Walmart, Trader Joe's, and Natural Grocers, which is like our Whole Foods or Sprouts. So let's jump into this week's meal plan and what you'll see for meal prep on Monday. So here is this week's meal plan. So this is the week of October 3rd through October 9th. So Saturday, as you know, is an out to dinner 
or pizza night. Sunday, I'm going to be making instant pot chicken burrito bowls. You'll see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is copycat skyline chili. Now, I've never had skyline chili, but I've heard that it's really good. We don't have that particular restaurant in my area, so I'm excited to try this. Tuesday is chicken cordon blue noodles. So basically this is kind of a noodle casserole, which sounds super good as well with ham and Swiss cheese. I will do leftovers on Wednesday. I may end up swapping these two depending on jazzercise. And then Thursday, I head to San Diego and I'm actually in San Diego Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I come back on Monday. So there won't be a meal prep up next week, but there will be one coming up this next Monday. So let me show you what you'll see in meal prep. So for breakfast, you will see pumpkin chocolate chip oat bars. I'm so excited for these. I've been wanting kind of a sweeter breakfast that I can pair with maybe some sausage, bacon, or eggs. And these sound really good. Nice, clean ingredients, WW friendly. So I'm excited for those. Lunch, I am making buffalo chicken mac and cheese. So I've been craving mac and cheese and buffalo. So let's put it all together with some chicken and make it a lunch. And then I'm making a really good apple muffin recipe. All whole food, clean ingredients, super point friendly really moist, delicious apple muffins. So you'll be seeing that as well. So all three of these recipes will be up on my channel on Monday in meal prep. Thank you for joining me on this week's grocery haul. We had so many amazing new food finds. I can't wait to try all of them. Seriously, Walmart is the place to go for new food finds. I will definitely share everything in the future that I pick up from Walmart that can benefit you on your journey as well. So I am excited for the snacks and meals for the upcoming week. Again, if you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I do upload most days of the week and Saturday is grocery haul day, so you never wanna miss out. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. It really just helps out my channel, kinda gets me out there in YouTube, so I would greatly appreciate that. Just a reminder to check out the description box down below for my nutrition coaching website, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, the link to come join us on Facebook. Again, we'd love to have you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, friends.